This is a sexual education video. This is 15 things to know before, you know, your first time. If you're pure, please watch this video to the end. Don't skip anything because I got a lot of good stuff for you. I just want you guys to be good out there and have fun the safe way. This is an educational video. We're talking about the explosions of cherries today. Where's Bubbles? Dirty's like a melody in my head that I can't keep out. Got me singing like na 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 na. back or welcome to my channel i'm xxo bubbles hi make sure you guys check out my beauty channel bubbles beauty duh but today i have 15 i wish i knew before popping that thing don't have sex because you will get pregnant and die don't have sex in the missionary position standing up just don't do it promise okay everybody take some rubbers before I get into number one, I'm gonna need you guys to go ahead and like and subscribe. If you're not subscribed, what are you doing? Go ahead and get subscribed. Get on the way. Let's go. Become a bubble buddy. And if you guys want to friend me on social media, you can find me anywhere at XXO Bubbles. Look down in the description, add me. If there's something you wish you could have gone back in time and told yourself, go ahead and comment that down below. Let's get educated, okay? Let's have fun the correct way. Out of 15 things I wish I knew before, giving it up, losing my virginity. And number one is kind of the most important thing. You guys, please, please, please understand that safety comes first. Use protection. I don't care if it's your first or 50th time, you need to be using protection. Even if you're married, that's how it goes now. I'm just kidding. No, I'm not. It only takes one time to catch something and then that's that for life. You gotta, you know, live life figuring it out. Let's just, you know, use safe sex. And if your partner feels like they don't want to, <laughs> that's a red flag. Number two, if you're gonna give it up, if you're ready to, make sure you have an actual proper location. Don't be going to the parks. Don't go to the mountains. Ooh. If you're gonna do some grown things, do some grown things and spend some grown money. I understand you've seen my story time. And that, number two, along with a few other things, are things I wish I could have gone back and told myself. But I mean, hey, I can't go back, but I can tell you, for those who feel like they're ready. It is what it is. Make sure it's a good location. Make sure you can at least be on a bed. I lost money in a car. Ooh, it wasn't even his car. Like, you know how embarrassing that is? Ooh. Number three. So number three ties into number one a little bit, but not as much. Make sure you guys take showers. <laughs> I mean, sometimes, there, certain things are common sense. I'm going to be here to let you know. Make sure everything's clean down there. You don't want to, like, for your first time, be, you know, your whole experience be ruined by a smell. Like, ooh, safety first. Number four is to make sure you guys know each other or make sure you at least know your partner. Make sure you trust your partner. You know your partner. You know everything. 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 Know your partner's fun facts. Are they a virgin? Are they experienced? And if they are experienced, like do they use protection you know what i'm saying like there's always a bunch of questions to be asked especially if it's your first time and if you're like me well i didn't ask these questions Ooh. that's why i'm telling you guys please don't be like me and if you want the story time i mean look down in the description box below sex is life changing yes especially for the first time but just know it is not a big deal it's not that big of a deal you know it's not that crazy i have to tell you that because i know you have a million and three different questions that you don't know how to verbalize so i just want to let you know that get the fucking anxiety out no more anxiety you don't need to be anxious if it is your first time just keep in mind it's not that big of a deal just keep telling yourself it's not that big of a deal it's not that big of a deal watch the rest of this video but it's not that big of a deal. The next one is more mental than anything. It's very important to know that SEX is very emotional. It's it's a mental thing. You're kind of gonna get attached to the person, especially if it's your first time. Like, I know I keep using myself as an example, but I want you to make better decisions than I did. If you go back into my story time, if you didn't watch that story time, you really need to, after this, go watch that story time, okay? I stayed with the douchebag just cause he was my first and I thought that meant something. Like, you know what I'm saying? Sex is very emotional. It's, it's up here. It's very up here. Like it's really life changing. Some people get addicted. Some people are one and done. Just make sure you're trying to, 
just make sure to keep your feelings protected at all times don't be a fool and i know it's hard not to be a fool over that because it, it's amazing but yeah sex is a mental thing don't get attached to toxic people okay next one this one kind of ties into knowing your partner some people will get what they want and then leave you Sometimes it can be very hard to know what somebody's motives are. You know, they could be doing everything right and then you give them what they want and then they'll abandon you in a car parking lot where the establishment is closed and you're sitting up there cold, waiting for your Uber, getting cat called. Yeah, you need to go watch that story time. That's my experience. But anyways, know who you're giving it up to. Make sure you guys got some history, got some time. Another one is to make sure you're actually ready. Do not fall for the peer pressure. If somebody feels like, hey, this is what I want from you. If you're not gonna give it to me, then I'll go get it from somebody else. Let them go get it from somebody else because they're not worthy of you. Ooh. If you're a boy, if you're a girl, if you don't gender identify, I don't care. This goes to everybody. Make sure you're actually ready. It's something that you want and you're not being pressured to do so when it comes down to the actual activity like the actual time doing it for the first time make sure you don't rush anything you have foreplay is a thing look it up and i would suggest bringing lubricant because of the simple fact if you're a girl well this can go for guys too actually <sighs> After trying, like it doesn't just, it's not a one poke and done. Unless you're just about that life, then it's, it's not. Which mostly, bitch, you're not, I'm not. I'm telling you, you're not. It's gonna be painful. So you're gonna have to like maneuver. You're gonna wait, hold on, pause. Let's take a break real quick. Make sure you bring lubricant and then make sure your partner understands foreplay. Those are two big keys to sexual education sexual education make sure you start off slow tell your partner to start off slow when it comes time to it don't be trying to just like no you might have to go slow until it like okay <laughs> oh wow start off slow don't rush into anything i told you guys it was gonna hurt right because it's really gonna hurt. When you become a woman, even, well guys go through it too, actually, but in a different area. But I'm talking about me. The way I felt like, ouch. Because I lost mine twice. <gasps> they both felt like, ouch. Horrible, right? I didn't do that second story time yet. Stay tuned to that. Stay tuned. But it's gonna hurt. Be mentally prepared. Breathe. That's the one thing that helps me through pain is just to breathe. It sounds so weird, but like, and then breathing like that during intercourse actually is very amazing too. I don't know what it's called. If I find out what it's called, I'll put it on the screen somewhere or something. But breathing slow and heavy is like really it's nice. You should try it. <laughs> if you're already out there thotting and bopping, slow down with your partner and try it out. You know, you don't have to do that the entire time. I know. It gets faster but still what's next one where are we at where are we at um you're gonna bleed yes you're gonna bleed <laughs> boo boo i bled twice because i had it done twice you're gonna bleed it's gonna it's not gonna be a messy like a horse scene out of a movie or something crazy i suggest taking pads i don't suggest taking tampons because give your hole some time to breathe like give her some time to heal and stuff she just became a woman but bring you some pads. That's something I didn't do, which now I wish I would've. And an extra pair of underwear. You never know. You just never know. If you just cannot wait and you decide to go ahead and do this, another thing I would suggest for you to do is to speak up, be vocal with your partner. Make sure your partner knows how you feel. And if they have an attitude and they don't give a damn how you feel, you should cut it out before they actually take it. You feel me? Like don't even, they shouldn't even be in your presence if they don't care about you, the way you're feeling. A lot of females are so scared to be vocal. Don't do that. Don't be scared. Because you want your partner to know how to make you happy. You have to be vocal. I like this. I don't like that. Hey, can we try to switch it up real quick? Like, what are you doing? Are you about to take a shower? Take the cat with you because I'm tired of her ass. I'm trying to teach them about sex. Gosh. Make sure you're vocal about everything with your partner. Please, please, please. If you feel like you're too embarrassed and you cannot be vocal with your partner, baby, this is not what you should be doing then. Ooh. One of the biggest things after having SEX, it doesn't matter if it's your first time, your second, or your last, 
make sure you pee afterwards it's very 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 important just pee go pee you don't have to pee then you might have to drink some water and push something out i don't care boo boo you need to pee and i don't know how to say all this without getting demonetized like come on now it just cleans you out flushes you out um if you don't pee you can get a uti a uti can turn into a kidney infection which a uti don't feel good so the infection make sure you go pee let me tell you something when when you have a uti your pee burns your stomach hurts like cramping you can't fart that burns like just just pee after sex just pee after please 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 okay if you're a girl and like all these things I've been telling you, you haven't had this conversation with like your parents or anything. And I understand like sometimes that gets awkward. Like my mom, I don't think she's ever had like sex talks with me. I've never allowed her to like because that's weird to me. But that's what I'm here for you for. Like let me be your big sis. Let me put you on. And if you older than me and you learn something from me, that's a plus in my book. Like a win is a win. A win is a win to me, okay? I just want you guys to be good out there and have fun the safe way. An important thing is to keep it on the low. Ooh. People like to sit there and slut shame. Why? I don't know. I don't slut shame, but it doesn't feel good to be slut shamed either. Like, I don't know if you guys see me right now, but I wear crop tops and like, it's just certain things like that. I have had different sexual partners before and it sucks when people try to sit there and make you feel bad for living your life. Sex is a normal thing. Now don't get me wrong, it's always good to wait, wait, wait before having sex. But slut shaming is a horrible thing. So I suggest just keeping your stuff on the low, keep your business on the low. There's been times where a girl has told another girl some stuff about her experience and that bitch backstabbed her and told everybody else. Shit like that happens. Just keep in mind, shit like that happens. Okay, you should be able to trust your partner to keep your business on the low. I mean, if you're in a relationship with that person, your sex life should be off limits. If you don't give a damn and you want to just yell it over the mountains, baby, do you. And don't let nobody say nothing. But just keep in mind, people slut shame girls. I would just suggest keep it on the low. You don't have to. If that one's, you can do whatever you want. Everything else, do what the fuck I said. But that one, you you have the freedom that time i don't know if i'm missing anything so number one wear a condom number two in a bed not a car or outside number three make sure you both shower number four make sure you know who you're giving your virginity to are they a virgin have they been tested do they got any kids because that will tell you if they use protection or not number five it's not that big of a deal Ooh. okay just sex that's it. Number six is sex is a mental thing. It really is a mental thing. Like, okay, you will be motherfucking addicted to a person that you don't even like. Why? Because of sex. So don't get attached to the wrong person. Make sure you keep your eyes open for them red flags. Gotta go. Seven is make sure you know your partner. Cause after they get what they want, they can bounce on you. If you don't really know them like that. If you haven't put the time in with them like that. You know what I'm saying? And you shouldn't be really giving it up to somebody you don't even... I mean, unless it's for fun. Don't get me wrong. There's nothing wrong with having fun. But if you're going to be doing this for the first time, just know you're probably going to get attached to that person. It's a lot of bitches out there who said like they didn't. Them bitches is lying. The first time, you kind of get attached. I mean, after you live life more, you get detached. But just keep in mind... You're gonna get attached. So no, that person. And boys really do tend to switch up after they get the cooch. Just saying, just saying. Not all, but some. Eight, make sure you're actually ready. Do not do this because someone else wants you to. Do not feel pure, 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 pure pressured. Pure pressured, that's how you say it. Pure pressured. Don't be peer pressured. People who peer pressure girls into having sex, it's like, forcing them r-a-p-e sexually assaulting them that's how i take it anyway number nine is make sure you use foreplay and lubricant especially for the first time use lubricant make sure your partner knows about foreplay even if you have to tell them like hey look it up learn it before we do this thing foreplay is really really important in sexual activities number 10 is to start off slow okay work your way in there slowly though okay don't just go around poking holes. Make sure they start off slow. 11? I hope we're on 11. It's gonna hurt. It's gonna hurt. Be mentally prepared. Make sure you do your breathing exercises. It's gonna hurt. You hear that? I'm gonna hurt somebody in a second. I'm, he knows I'm making a video. 
12 is you're gonna bleed 11 12 13 i don't know what number we're on but you're gonna bleed you are gonna bleed keep that in mind take you a pad not a tampon give your coochie some time to breathe and a pair of underwear pads underwear pads underwear emergencies you never know my carries of the world <laughs> speak up make sure you're speaking up to your partner it's very important you know what i gotta go ahead and edit this and see if i did 15 i don't know if i did 15 whole facts i wrote 15 down but i kind of i just go kind of with the video yeah that's me hi mamas <laughs> None of this you have to worry about because we're not letting you out of our sight. Yes, little girl. You're not having no babies. Her not having no babies. She don't have to hear this. This ain't no video for you. Every mom feels like that. <laughs> but realistically. Realistically. <gasps> I really hope you guys enjoyed this video. I care about you. I want you guys all to practice safe sex. Like, so much is going on in the world. All these rap songs and stuff. Like, half these rappers got stuff because they just don't care. So many people don't care. You don't know who you're dealing with sometimes. And even if you do know, sometimes it might be embarrassing. Like, if they have something to, like, just make sure you guys are being protected. Safe sex prevents pregnancy that your broke ass can't handle right now. I know. I know. Don't be ashamed. If anything in this video, if any of these tips helped you out or made you open your eyes, just comment down below and let me know how you was feeling. I need to hear what you guys got to say. It's so important for me to get feedback from y'all. So go ahead and comment down below what you think about this video. How you feel about this topic? Your feedback is so important. Let me know. Don't forget to give this video a thumbs up or a thumbs down. But if you're giving it a thumbs down, I don't give a shit. Thank you. <laughs> I love you guys. I am out. Yeah, I'm done with this video. Bye, guys. I'll see you in the next one. Make sure you guys go watch my story time. It's down in the description box. Oh, it's an embarrassing one. Yeah. I wonder what my next video is going to be about. I don't know. Comment down below and let me know what you guys are, you know, what, what you want from me. What type of video would you like me? I wonder what my next video is going to be about. I don't know. Comment down below and let me know what you guys want to see. Because your feedback matters to me. Duh. We're family around here. I'm tired of y'all not commenting. Get it together. Okay? Okay. Alright. I think, I think we're out. Bye, guys. I love you. Bye. Shawty me that ass crap, she don't need no flow. I imagine, like go, y'all. D-Wagon, or the Rover. I put some ice on you cause you gotta go. I know I gotta keep my shorty on go. Got that ass to the floor. Yeah. Oh, oh, oh. You ain't gotta deal with none of these niggas no more.